Hello everyone, this is Rocco coming back at you. Uh, we just finished our Christmas activities today. And we are going to be doing um, our test route to drive back. This, unfortunately, this right here is regressed. Um, what it should not do is stop right there. It stopped, looked at the bush, and decided, okay, we're good to go, and goes. <laughs> it doesn't um, wait for traffic. I've noticed there's a there's been a big regression waiting for cars on unprotected turns on this version. It just decides to cut out in front of traffic, and it might not be immediately obvious and right here that's a big regression uh going down this hill uh this is the second time i've been down i didn't record going over to my sisters but uh, this this is a big regression on this road here uh actually the worst i think the worst version ever and never no other version has ever crossed over that far and and it hasn't for many versions hasn't um cut out in front of traffic like that the previous version was doing great in terms of traffic. We're actually good to go. It actually accelerates quite fast up to speed, which I think is unnecessary personally. But um, see right here, I turned the brights on and they're still on. <laughs> and that's the thing, it turned it off so late for that car right there. Uh, it, for whatever reason, it just didn't see the lights on that car it seems like it's relatively simple thing like you see two glowing orbs like turn off the lights like just be evil conservative I, I, I don't know um, seems relatively easy considering uh, to get that right but it's it's never been good since it came, it came out like it works acceptably well but I'm like, it still flashes people. It just did it just now. Um, so I, I'm not sure what it's gonna take to make that better. Uh, it just, I, I kind of wish they would just like, they seem to be focusing on everything all at once versus individual parts. We got a phantom brake there for no conceivable reason that I could tell. Phantom braking does seem to be improved, I'd have to say, um, with the shadows on the road. Definitely seems to be better. Right there, that phantom brake, having that car come up over the hill. It's phantom brake for those cars. And it actually turned the lights off uh, too late as well. So you're always, it's on right now, it should already turn it off. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. Like, to me, it's blatantly obvious that car is in the view of my lights and it need to be turned off. Uh, it seems to be regressed. A phantom brake again uh, for that car going by. And for the comments, you keep on saying calibration of the cameras. That shouldn't be necessary every version. I have calibrated my cameras. That does not seem to help phantom brake. And it's still trying to stop for the stop sign. Unfortunately, just pressed the accelerator a little bit, seeing to let it go by this time. But yeah, it's still trying to stop for that side street stop sign. Now they're right on to Asheville Highway. It's coming in too fast into here. Is it gonna turn on the blinker? No. Changing lanes to follow route, use turn signal to cancel. Huh, okay, next time we're, I'm gonna let it. Also, the map data got worse again. This has never shown 25 mile an hour right here. This is a, um, this is a, um, 35 mile an hour road right here. There's 20 mile an hour when there's school in session. Obviously, it's Christmas Day, so there's no school in session. We're gonna see what it does with this entrance here. Nope, that's going to be a disengagement. Um, it always tries to turn on the blinker here. Go ahead and record that. I'm not sure what this car was doing cutting out. I don't think they even saw that car right there. It 
turn the blinker on again after it was already in the lane for some reason. There used to be versions where almost every single time I would get a zero disengagement drive on this route. And I haven't, I guess the previous version I got a zero disengagement drive. But um, that new, because the map data is wrong, the map data is not updated that uh, next to the school right there, which where I have my disengagement, uh, that is a new uh, turn lane that has not been mapped yet. Okay, I had to press the accelerator to keep it from breaking here. Still not reading that speed limit sign. Should already be breaking for this red light here. It can't see that person, I don't think. Yeah, I wasn't seeing the person on this visual. Let's go ahead and make this full screen here. Again, should already be breaking for this yellow light up here. We're catching every single light tonight. It's unbelievable. <laughs> every single one, holy crap. I don't know if I've ever done this. I don't know if that's ever happened to me before. But what I can tell you is consistently, every time it, it, it starts up, what it does is it launches forward, right here, launches forward, pauses, and then like half floors it. In 500 feet, every single one, it does that. I'm not sure why, um, even at stop signs, it, every single one it does this. It needs to turn on the blinker here and it's not, it's okay, well, at least it got over at the appropriate time, but it still needs to turn on the blinker. I'm not sure why it never, it, there's sometimes when it changes lanes that it's just like, I'm just not going to turn on the blinker. I don't quite understand why there's logic to not turn on the blinker. It doesn't seem to make sense. That was a sketchy merge. I turned on the blinker so it would get over sooner. I saw that car. It's like it didn't notice that car until it got right next to it. And then it kind of put on the brakes. Like when, it, it, like when a car is like, you know, when you're, you're coming like, a, like this, and you're kind of meeting, like... It needs to have the logic to slow down. Like as a human, you know, okay, I'm just gonna slow down a little bit so I can get in behind that car. Or if you're a really aggressive driver, you're gonna speed up and get in front of that driver. Um, just your personal preference. My preference is to slow down a little bit and get behind him. That's clearly he's going 70, at least 70 mile an hour. So he's going faster than I am going. So it makes sense that uh, they would, um, Stay in front. up a little bit fast going off the exit slowing down nicely now make sure it stays left thought about turning right and it finally I think it's trying to see this median a little bit better now okay we are safe to go 
waiting for it to use the accelerator. Okay. I press just tiny taps the accelerator. I'm holding it now just so it doesn't drop speed when it, the speed limit goes to the incorrect speed limit. Uh, it's actually 45 mile an hour right here. I'm actually going to try it up at the 50, see if it's even better still around curves. Oh, we have this car. Where can I catch up to? Anyways, um, this is going to be the end of this video, everyone. Um, unfortunately, this does seem to be regressed for this particular route. Um, I am very hopeful, though. Uh, I am hope I have Monday and Tuesday off, so I'm going to probably go up to Asheville on Monday and do those run-up tests to see how those kind of do for us. Uh, I'm very hopeful Asheville is going to be improved due to the re release notes, and we're going to see how that does. It appears to not have... Um, helped routing too much but uh, we'll see how it does in Asheville I appreciate you always as watching and I hope everyone had a wonderful day bye everyone